Evil Dead with psychosis. It's a damn shame that they they are uh, they disbanded. But man, uh, the only crime here is that they're not making more good music like that because that that whole album was amazing. I mean, these guys did such a good job. It's like the monsters meet the Adams family mixed in with like kind of like kind of dirty old like late sixties, early seventies rock and roll. Like it's just crazy stuff. But it's so cool. Like and, and so like oh, you can get, get into it so easily. And yeah, I love this stuff. Proper filthy rock and roll. That's that's what I is. I love that. I absolutely adore it. We have. Um, I'm not sure we played that track. We've definitely played a track before. Um, on a show and I thought oh yeah oh. I really like these guys but we, yeah the more I listen to it the more I'm like oh come on this is great yeah. I didn't realise that they weren't together that's a shame no it's been a couple of years but uh, we, we do have a full album to go, to go through which we can play again with no problem because it's worth it it's great music so it's just Let's one of those that. things that happens you know it's just it's just the nature of the business unfortunately but no this is it this is it you know musical differences or Whatever, I don't know. I don't get it personally. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a question where it grips it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so I've been there, man. We've all been in bands that are broken up. And it's yeah, like, of course. You look back and you think, oh, that's a shame. Like we were saying the other day, actually, um, because obviously we're, we're on sort of a break because our drummer's having a baby and we're recording this album and you know we're, we're kind of not doing much. And everyone was like, oh, God, we haven't seen each other for ages. Like, you know, we're not breaking up, are we? And it's like, well, no, because, you know, we're in our 30s. We're not. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> the hell else are we going to do? <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? Yeah, yeah no, it's, it's kind of, it's funny, though, because you sort of think, you can imagine it's quite easy for bands to drift apart when you're younger. But, um, you know, and all, all, about, all the guys in my band, but, you know, I've known uh, the uh, three of them, well, my brother, obviously, I've known all my life. Two of them I've known since school, and Jay right. I've known now 11 or 12 years. So it's kind of like, you know it's not going to break up. So it's just, <laughs> just got to bear with it and let people have babies and do whatever they're doing. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's all part of the fun. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's like sidetrack there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that wasn't a brag. We're not breaking up, and you did. It wasn't like that. It was kind of like, yeah. <laughs> Well, right on, right on, right on. Uh, so next up, uh, speaking of uh, bands we're going to get to be interviewing in the next few months as well, um, Sequoia, Anna from Sequoia. She is uh, so much fun, man. She's a blast to have on the show. So I think we're looking at April for, for Anna uh, and Sequoia. So it'll be a lot of fun. And trust me, man, it'll be well worth the wait because she is so much fun and just such a such – a, uh, uh, a good natured person, like, and a lot of fun to talk to you. So, uh, every time she's been on the show in the past has been a great time. So, hopefully, and with no doubt, it will be. So, next up, this is their newest single. This is this is this is, uh, this is Sequoia with a Rising Up. Dig this. I'm not okay. We've been betrayed. Feel like giving up. You want us to lie, want us to die. Want us to give it up And the world cries And the part in us We are rising We are rising We are rising up You can hold me You can hold me You can hold me
right on. Sequoia with Rising Up. And I can't wait to have Anna back at the show, but that's her newest single. Great tune. Love the flow. It's uh, like, wow. It's very impressive. It's a really cool tune, isn't it? It's, it's like, <clears throat> there's a little bit of Bjork in there. Yeah, uh, good point. Do you know what I mean? It's got that kind of vibe. It's kind of trippy and has that Nordics feel to it, which I really like. It's kind of icy, I guess, is what I'm saying. I really like it. It's a really cool tune. Icy? Nice. Uh, icy, icy, icy. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, all right, all So I'm not sure you can hear in the background. Uh, uh, Willa and me are getting into it a little bit, so a little bit of growling going on back there, but they're fine. They're just being annoying. <laughs> so next up, right on. Oh, well, yeah. Back to the music, so let's get to the news. <laughs> And we're back. So here's next up is Des McCalmont with his newest song, and this one's called Highlights in Heaven. Dig this. <laughs> Everybody leaves here eventually. We'll see the highlights in heaven. We'll see the highlights in Everybody grieves here for somebody here in the twilight we're living here in the twilight we're living and it always brings me down. That was a brand new song by Des McCalmon called Highlights from Heaven. And Des has always been very good to show with his new songs. And uh, they, you know, they're, they're, they're nothing short of, of awesome. Like, 
He's got such a great voice and it tells, tells such a story. You know, I, I can't say any of the good things about him. I think it's quality, yeah, yeah. Really, really cool. Uh, I love a good ballad, and that is definitely a good ballad. That's properly, it's nicely done, isn't it? It's just got, uh, you know, again, good production quality on it. Uh, a lot of good production coming through in the last few weeks, which is always um, always a bonus, to be honest with you, because it you know, makes, makes listening there uh, um, that much more pleasurable, doesn't it? But it, it's also, I, I like the songwriting, do you know what I mean? I like the way right. that the song kind of flows. I think it's really well put together, and you can tell it's really well thought out. Uh, it's a good tune. I love it, man. Well, I can well. see you licking an envelope or something. <laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I can't see that. Uh, well, wh wh where am I? Who are you? <laughs> Who'd you call? Yeah, okay. I'll show them. Nobody messes with Adam Wee. <laughs> Take that back. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, best, and best Adam West moments ever was in Family Guy. Nobody messes with Adam Wee. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love so, that. Uh, so, next up... Uh, just before Mike opens his big mouth again. I'm, I'm sorry. It's, it's... <laughs> oh, uh, I'm going, uh, please. I, I, uh, John Lager, well, I have, I have obviously the the pleasure. I would like to say of being able to see you on video. <laughs> so it's kind of done, and then I realised you're in the middle of something. So I thought, oh, maybe I should carry on. 